I'm Jesse Sinsack. And I'm Lila Ibrahim. Welcome to Beyond the Metal. We are inside Molson Canadian Hockey House, where we are with a lot of very happy fans. That's right, Lila. People gather here by the thousands to cheer on their home team. Trust us, it is not easy to get in here, especially when there are Olympic hopes on the line. That's right, but Canada is happy, and we're going to go talk to some of these happy fans. Now we got our heart back. How much we you- weren't playing with heart. Then we learned, hey, we are defeatable, oh and we're playing like we don't care. How but how- we care now. We care because this is our game. We are Canadian, and that's why we're here, right? Right? That's right. So who are, who are the two teams you want to see go compete for the gold? Game. Yeah. Oh, Canada, U.S. all over again. Let's see. Uh, right there, buddy. Right there. Let's see it again. You're watching Revenge, don't you? Oh, 100%. Yeah. We're going to get it, too. We're going to get it. Lila, even though Canada lost to the U.S., this win today over Germany has really revived their spirits. It totally has. This game was huge. We're going to tell you more about the game and bring you the rest of the news. Canada had a huge win over Germany, winning 8-2. to two. They changed up their starting goalie from Martin Brodeur and instead played Roberto Luongo, and boy, did it make a difference. Just days after the death of her mother, Canadian figure skater Joni Rochette held it together on the ice and put together a show with a courageous performance. The 24-year-old scored a personal best. She stands a remarkable third going into Thursday's long program. Reigning world champion Kim Yoon-na of South Korea scored a world record 78.50 points to lead the standings. Canadian Ashley MacGyver is the first Olympic women's ski cross champion. The 26-year-old native of Whistler led from start to finish to win gold. With his first place finish in Sunday's Super Combine, Bodie Miller has collected one medal of every color, gold, silver, and bronze at the Vancouver Olympics. His try for a fourth medal ended early in the giant slalom when he skied out after missing a gate. He has one more chance to place in the top spots again. If he does, he can tie the Olympic record for the most medals at the Games by an alpine skier. Canadian Hockey House is a ton of fun, especially with such a huge win for the home team. That's right, Lila. There's a lot of fun into the days to come, so remember to stick with us at wintergames.ap.org and uh, check out our unique uh, tours of Whistler and Vancouver. That's right. We take a seaplane over Vancouver and then go in a gondola to get spectacular views of Whistler, so be sure to check it out.